and we are live. What is going on, y'all? What is ha what is ha ha happening? This is your boy TK, and this is let's talk about it with TK. And y'all, today I got a special guest, y'all, in the building. This is a singer, actor, songwriter, producer, composer. Man, this man is brilliant, y'all. Musician, just everything, y'all. Give it up for my man, my Ace Boon Coon. Christian Mack be in the building. What's going on, man? You like the radio? Like, when they, like, when they say, close those here, and they just press that button, that's like, and five people, it's just like. Right. <laughs> I, don't have a, I don't have a clapping track. I'm going to get that. I'm going to invest in that. Thanks right. for reminding me, y'all. Man, but what is going on, my friend? How was your day? Oh man, my day was crazy. It was a good day. It was just really, really long. I um I, I went to bed at like three. Uh, I was I was working on music for uh, a couple of different clients, and then uh, I had to be at work at seven. Uh, and so you know, it's a it was, it was just a long day, but it was a very productive day. I got a lot done. So, I mean, it's funny because sometimes I wish I would have had that same, like, go get it, like, attitude in, like, high school when it came to, like, my grades. Uh -huh. yeah. I've never, like, stayed up, like, <laughs> 3 o'clock in the morning in high school. So now I'm getting that, I'm getting that going now. So I, now I see what it's like. Man, so man, for people that don't know, man, just give them a brief update of like who you are, man. Just give them like a quick little just bio of who you are, man. Just a little something. Oh, cool. Uh, I feel so underdressed. Like you got on the the sunglasses and like you came with sunshine on a cloudy day. I feel very. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm Christian. Uh, for, for those that don't know me, I've known Terry. So we were like 13, 14, grew up in the youth ensemble of Atlanta, uh, which is where I got my training. And uh, I've been acting and doing music ever since. So, uh, yeah, I, I actually, this robe is sitting here because I was up so late last night uh, and uh, I needed to be warm. Uh, <laughs> not warm. It's not warm. Lord have mercy. <laughs> But literally, y'all, this is the hardest working man in show business right there, man. Like, really, he works around the clock and he's always giving quality work. So I can't help but, you know, show him love on this day because this man, this dude's brilliant. Trust I, I, me. Bro, I appreciate it. <laughs> so let's get right into it. So, man, let's just talk about the beginning. Like, where did you get that spark to be an artist, man? Um. Uh I guess I like, so uh, Baffy, uh, my great grandma, uh, who y'all probably know her better than y'all know me, um, bought me my first like actual like keyboard, uh, um, and so kind of like taught myself how to play from there. Um, and um, yeah, I always had the the energy to want to create something, uh, and I just knew that was just inherently in me to want to be able to create and uh, create for others as well. Um, and then I guess by the time I got older, I realized I didn't know how to do nothing else. So <laughs> it was like, okay, well, this is it. <laughs> Man. So that, that's where we are. What's going on, my friend? But the crazy thing is, yeah, shout out to mom. Man, she was so excited about this episode. But <laughs> The crazy thing is, man, uh -huh. talk about that web, that little show you had when you was a kid, man, you and your brother. Like, I remember, come on now, that was the start. The funny thing is, he, he ain't going to want to talk about that. Uh, but <laughs> it, it was called uh, CMC uh, Top 3. Oh, Figs in the house. Uh, yeah, yeah. CMC Top 3. And uh, mm -hmm. it was a... Uh, it was weird. So it was a uh, variety show based on absolutely nothing. Um, and like Cameron, like he 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 hated it. <laughs> like, like he liked it, but like you know, he was still like young uh, and stuff. So yeah. <laughs> that was my first like boss uh, role, and then like to the point where like no one was safe. Come into the house unless they were going to be thrown into a skit. Like you knew you were going to come to the house and have to put on a wig, memorize some lines, 
and then uh, in in the basement, I had set up a whole like studio, like a, a tape line, but like so the audience was on the line. There was literally no audience, but we we taped it out like there was gonna be. Uh, <laughs> I literally thought, Gary, I thought I, that I was going to do that show forever. Like I was planning, I was planning like season eight uh, and season nine, like before there was iCarly. <laughs> <laughs> there was I Carly. There was uh the AMC top three because there was no like there was no webcam stuff. So there was, oh. was all, like was all like video cam. You know, we still had dial up and stuff. So I mean, you put in that groundwork, the camcorder. Like they don't oh, understand. That's hard. ABC. I still had uh the, I still used tapes. Uh, so I uh yeah yeah so that. But now it's like we put most of that on uh, on DVD. Um, but uh, oh. yeah, I haven't watched it since. I think I'm gonna watch it tonight. I think I'm gonna watch it tonight. <laughs> man, you tell me about that. And we gonna have we we gonna hang out and watch it together because oh, man, yeah. oh, oh no, no. You, know what I, you know what I was watching a couple days ago, uh, a couple of weeks ago. What? Good cost the thing. Oh man. Oh man! So the DVD started like scratching and stuff. Uh, right. I, I was uh, for those who don't know, that was a show that uh, Terry and I did at uh, Seven Stages. Uh, we did it three times: twice at YEA, one time at Seven Stages, and yeah, it was so uh, so oh, everyone. You know, we we had to do something. Literally called any and everybody in my family, your family, their family, yeah. like anybody's family but there would be like occasionally those one or two people who just like saw a marquee or just heard this or, or saw this this flyer here so it was nice to you know start to see that that bill that was another show that i thought was going to take me to the top <laughs> i thought so too. i thought i was on people was comparing me to brown and all that stuff i'm like this is it this is it <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, I uh, to a point where it's like I would love to like look back at it again to see if I could like spice it up. Now that we're older and we write better and we have better storylines and we know that everything is be shit on circuit. You know, it's just like what can we do to continue to uh, expand those stories? And, What's up, Dad? Uh, <laughs> uh, to expand those stories and um and everything. So yeah. Man, that man, please let me know, man. Whatever I can do to help develop that, because I would love to bring Cousin Eddie back some kind of way, man. Just oh, yeah. that, that story was. And you wrote it at and the You said what? You wrote it at thirteen. Like you got to understand, like you were young writing instead Tyler. Doing, like instead of doing like any homework, <laughs> instead. Of, <laughs> I mean, literally, I'd be writing this stuff. Day and night. Um, so I mean, but it was it was always so much fun. But it's it's fun to have that same like. I try to have that that same drive with a little bit better like focus. Um, right. Now it's like you know we're doing the thing, so it's like okay, so it's it's, it's all right. But oh man, those are some good times. I think. Yeah, yeah, it's good times. <laughs> We went through it like because I mean each process brought something new and something more difficult to handle, but yeah. we got through it. Yeah, absolutely. And then like we didn't have so like just being able to, now that we've had so much you know uh, work under our belt, we're able to see like how different directors communicate, and you know everybody doesn't have to throw a chair to get respect or attention or you know things like that. So it's nice to see opening up that script again and see if we did it again, like what could be different and uh, how can we continue to educate, entertain, and empower, which for me is the only reason to create anything. Uh, it's, it's right. just, exactly. Educate, entertain, and empower, it's just no need to, no need to do it. Exactly. Like I'm big on edutainment and I learned that phrase from my sixth grade teacher. Like my sixth grade teacher was huge on edutainment, like just fusing the two together, man. Oh man. Hold, hold, hold on. Work. I think I got something. What's up? Hold on, hold on, real quick. Hey, okay, pause. Hold y'all mute. Hold y'all mute. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Please join the club. This looks so much better. So much better. How we talk about it, you know, with with TK. <laughs> Like, seriously, okay, let's talk. uh, Let me just talk about this is crazy for me. Like, my first couple of YA shows that I saw was Times, and then I saw Urban Soup. And you were one of the first actors I saw in Urban Soup. When you when you talk when you did the Wi-Fi song. That was like that was my introduction to Christmas. That was my introduction. That was back at what, 14th Street Playhouse? Exactly. Exactly. You know who wrote that song? I mean, yeah, a little bit. I mean, to that Sean Kingston song, yeah. Do you know who wrote the like the remake and the, like who wrote like those lyrics? Ina King wrote that. Uh, and and said, I want that little boy singing. I was like, who, me? <laughs> like, I knew nothing. Like, me and Taji were like, so green and just it was oh man like green 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 <laughs> but that was my introduction to Christian like before I even auditioned that was I was like oh man I gotta get in this just because I want to share the stage with this dude he is hilarious well, it's funny that you say that because you talk about times I was like yeah I didn't I, I didn't I didn't make it in that show they told me I was too young for that show they told me I was too young. And Camille was in control. And they did Camille up there. <laughs> oh, the hypocrisy. Oh, the hypocrisy. <laughs> you know, you know he, he was really good. You know, so I'm like, right. you know, I'm, I'm a little new. He's been here a couple years, very seasoned, still very seasoned. So, like, it was hilarious. They're like, tell me I was too young. I was like, I was. Oh, I know you were in times. You was old. Dirt. Uh, I remember her as men. I remember you in times. Just that's all. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say. Times is so 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 great. Oh man. Yeah, and it, and it was like every time I almost made it into times, it was just like a child be like. Dude is legit with the sign language, though. I'm telling yeah, you. Understands it. Everybody understands it. It's just oh, like, man. I get it. I get it. <laughs> uh, Kyle had his. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, me and Kyle <laughs> talk about something almost every day, if not really? every day. We like, we send each other like the funniest videos all the time that we find online. They're usually church videos, but sometimes it's not a church video. Like, oh man, it's it's quite hilarious. It's <laughs> man. But the crazy thing is, and I did that. I did get to share the stage with you. We did Endangered Species, and Endangered. I was just sitting with you and Michael. That was my first. I was like, yes, I literally get this share the stage with Christian. <laughs> and, you know, my favorite thing about that show was just being able to cuss. It was just like, hey, we're singing about shows. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what we're talking about. But it's so funny. That was, that was the only kind of theater we knew was like theater about the issues, which is why I'm like so prevalent on doing things that bring about a change or, or anything. Uh, mm-hmm. but yeah, that, uh, the, the opening song uh, was what? One dollar, two dollar, three dollar, four. Come oh, down and go get this. Oh, come get him. 13. We was Migos before Migos. So like, let's just throw that out. Too. We had the ad libs on deck. Come on now. We had the fake chain, we had the grills. It was a it was a very like positive show. It was about um it was it was called Endangered Species about the endangerment uh, of of black women um right. and uh, how we as a, a society bring it on uh, change it. But I, I love everything about that show. But yeah, that's how that, that's how it started. <laughs> um, what an opening! What an right. opening! <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, but stuff like that, I mean, I don't forget stuff like that. And then just to go from there to out of the box, where oh, we bring yeah. it back five, six, seven, eight times on different occasions, and people love it. They love it each time. Let's talk yeah. about that, man. What was that yeah. like? So out of the box uh, started, I was in my 10th grade class, and we started talking, I don't know if it was 10th grade or 11th grade. I feel like it had to have been because it went up my junior year. But anyway, I were in class, and I think we're in English class. Just showed you how much I was paying attention. Um, and we started talking about colors and how it was associated with boys and, and pink is associated with girls. I, I got to think, I was like, man, why? Like, why? Why is that? And so we just we just really do it without without even thinking about it. Uh, wow. I didn't have a name for the show yet, but it was at that moment I started writing the opening. Uh, it was for me. Uh, it's still, I, I actually listened to it today, not on purpose. It just came up on my phone. I was like, ah, oh, this again. Uh, <laughs> uh, and it was good. It, it, it was something inherently about the song. I'm just like, I have to, I have to share my thoughts, you know, about you know this. And uh, the only way I can, oh, I appreciate that. Um, the only way I could do that was to, you know, put it on paper and find nine other people who were like game. So it started with like what, 10 of us writing it uh, uh, together. And then uh, Chauncey did the choreography. Yeah. Um, and then we did it again. Nah, uh, 10 became like five. And uh, and then me and Albright were like, ah, oh, we, we, we got it. <laughs> um, and, and just being a it was funny, last year when I was in Austin, uh, I don't know how it came to me at all. I just called Quinn, and I was like, hey, uh, I think this is a show. And he was like, well, I don't know what it's about, but OK. That's just me and Quinn's relationship. I was just like, oh, he, he trusts me. But um, it was nice to be able to brush it off and, and do it in front of actual professionals. And, hire actual professional actors and have real musicians. And I think, you know, by then I had learned how to score all the music. So everybody's music was scored. Uh, ooh, child. Um, and, uh, a lot of work, a lot of work. Especially for that show, because it just wasn't an easy show. Um, was not. And to be very honest, I feel like it still is not exactly there yet. It's just, it, it, it's not that it misses the but I just feel like we haven't done what we were supposed to do. It gets better and better each time. But it, it, right. it just hard to lose its way, you know, over the years. And it's one of those. Now, Christian Oliver don't like the show like that no more. Uh, it, it, like I, I have, I have to beg Christian to do uh, <laughs> to get out of the box. Uh, he was like, "Can you work on something else?" Um, I, I, I believe that it's going to be one of those shows that eventually. Uh, Makes. We'll see. I understand. That club Terry going on in the back. Huh? That club Terry going on in the back with the music <laughs> and, uh, and the. Oh, that's a microphone. Oh, okay. Like, I was thinking about cutting the music down, you know, like just a little bit, but I don't know. It's my atmosphere. I can't help it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You like what you like, man. You like what you like. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're doing. That's, oh that's what we're doing. <laughs> but man, one of my joys, and I'll I'll always remember this to this day, was being able to perform my senior year and do the nativity with you, Obasi, and Taylor. Yeah. Oh my God. That was one of the oh man. Oh, black activity, man. That was that was something that the last year two couples ever did it. So I don't know if that means people out with a bang or if they were just like, no, nah, they they got to go. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was such a it was such a fun experience. It, it was oh, but Debbie was mad. Um, just, man. She said, and I kind of quote, "We have a base." And you just can't take the flowers out of our face and put them in somebody else's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
they were like, oh, nice. what, are you, what are you talking about? What are you, what are you talking about? And we was excited. We were excited because we had got the biggest paycheck of our life. Thank you. Thank you. I and felt we, rich. We were like, this is, this is more money than I've ever seen. <laughs> that was, thank you. And we had installments. We had pay dates. And everything. I'm like, this is, come on. Okay. Yeah, I told my, I, I was telling people at my school, and when I was, you know, when we were back in high school, I'd be like, yeah, hey, we're in this show, but, you know, oh, we've got eight shows this week, or we've got seven shows this week, or, uh, <laughs> uh, until I broke my foot, and then I, it, it wasn't as, it wasn't as fun anymore. That, uh, oh, yeah. I never <laughs> asked you about that. I think, like, we were just too busy working. I never get, get a chance to ask you how you felt about doing the show on a broken foot. Well, so that whole last week, it was like a modified show for me. The first half of the show took place in, in you know, you know, Bethlehem and everything, and they didn't have crutches, so I got cut from from that act. Um, and then in, um, in the act two, you know, was in the church. So instead of being right. the dancer, uh, I was the usher on on crutches, which is crazy because I broke my foot dancing, and like I'm not a dancer. Maybe why I broke my foot. Uh, but I was a, I, we were dancers in that show. We were right. Padro Harris, the infamous Padro Harris, had us as dancers. So once upon a time, y'all, despite what you might feel, what you might see, <laughs> really, Christian got see. down, y'all, on that show. He got down. Christian got down. down. That uh, and we had them, uh, them gators. That we yeah, could them. Do it the we can do it now. We can do it now. Oh God, we didn't have it. We didn't have Back it. Then, oh no. Was that so was something. Fun. That was something. Ya didn't, you know, give us. We was like, "What is this? What is this?" I tell you, this, this was another thing I took away from it that I really love. So, J. Michael, um, rest in peace. Yes, uh, what I he was teaching us music and stuff, and that was the first time that I saw that he scored out all of his music, and he yeah. just yeah, he by hand had you know written everything out, or I don't know if he typed it out or if he wrote it out, but they were like his arrangements that he had wrote it out. That was the first time I had ever seen black people write music on wow. paper, and I realized how important that was. You know, from night to night to night to night to night, it all sounds the same. It all sounds the same. Not only does it all sound the same, you can cut down on the number of rehearsals you have because all everybody got to do is read. Uh, exactly. For reason, I like to have one rehearsal, maybe one rehearsal. I think out of the box, we had no rehearsals for that last that last concert. Uh, yeah, but, you know, I, I learned that from uh, Ann Carol Fence who, uh, at uh, at Aurora. Boy, she, woo, she good boy. She, oh, like, but like, she, I, I noticed like she didn't have rehearsals with them. Uh, mm. They just they just come and and they know it. So I was just like, yo, that's that's something I want to like learn like how to do, which is why I, I think it's so important to to score music. Uh, I, you know, I also love playing by ear, but I also think it's uh, just as important, you know, for for us to be able to know how to read, especially as Black musicians. Um, so it's nice that we can back and forth, add some different flavors, different styles. But yeah, that's something I took away from Jay Michael that I really, really uh, love. The other thing I loved about Jay Michael. Is when he said to us, as children, uh -oh. uh, <laughs> I mean, he had some like 30 to 40 year olds in the, in the cast too. And that man said, mm. I don't care if Padre got y'all swinging from chandeliers. Y'all gonna say my shit. Admit it. Admit it. Man, which brings me, which brings me to your musical journey, man. Like to wrap everything up, like you started working with like Renee Clark, you started working with Jill. I mean, not Jill Scott. Um, what was her name? Angie Stone and all these different individuals. Tell me, what was that like? Like just become the composer and just become the behind the scenes guy that creates everything. Well, I honestly, I, I got thrown into it. Um, it, it was, uh, it was in YEA, uh, and I ended up having to music direct, um, uh, the gala, 
but it was the really big gala, the one with Lynn Whitfield and John Tay Austin and Antonio Fargus. Uh, wow. And that was my first time like really having to music direct something that wasn't already mine. Um, right. But again, like I'm mostly just a composer. I really just write music for other people to play. So it's like right. once one person knows that you play, everybody finds out that you play. And then it's like, oh, would you like to do this? Or would you like to be a part of that? And I, I, I love, you know, that 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 energy. Uh, and that, I mean, it's like this this um, not community, but this uh, business. You know, it's it's big, but it's very very right. small. Uh, and work is around. So I think that's why I have been very fortunate uh, musically to just, you know, be able to continue to work and, and find different things to work on, whether it's my own stuff or, you know, right. someone else. So it's, 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 it's been a blessing. And I, I, I love music is to me is the one gift I never thought I had. I just did not right. think it was going to like um, do what it's doing. Like I knew I knew how to play piano, but I did not know that that was going to be a good half uh, of my life. Uh, right. Yeah. But man, just because my phone is about to overheat, I want to thank you for coming to do this show, man. And we're going to do this again. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I do this on my laptop so I can have more bandwidth because this is ridiculous. But shout out to everybody that came out, man. We got the numbers and y'all can go back and rewatch this. Mama, start the watch party now. Christian, thank you so much, man. I'm going to text you. Thanks for coming out, man. Yes, sir. Peace out, y'all.